Hello, and here is my review of the Southern League 100 year centenary book from 94. An absolutely fantastic insight into the Southern League. A few words there from the sponsors Beezer Homes. The content. Bit of a mention from the management committee of the Southern League. John Motson, the fantastic commentator himself, giving a few words. The formation of the Southern League. And then here is a good bit of history on the Southern League. Look at that, Stuart Pearce playing at Weldstone before joining Coventry and then going on to Nottingham Forest and becoming the England captain. The official feeder leagues, all the divisions that feed the teams into the lower leagues, that'll be East and West back then. Then it goes season by season, Millwall winning the first two leagues. Not able to read this all out. But basically there's Tottenham Hotspur when they won the FA Cup as a non-league team. Not as a great, great achievement as it looks Tottenham winning the FA Cup as a non-league team as there was only two divisions. And Tottenham were probably up to the same standards as the first division teams of that era. As we move through, when the think leagues here were east and west, and then into the 60s, when it became the official Premier League, yet the Southern League became the Premier League before the Football League had a Premier League. Fantastic book. Virtually tells you everything that happened in the season in both divisions. All the scores. We'll move it quickly on into the 70s. Wimbledon, of course, winning, getting elected to the Football League. The last team to be elected to the Football League. They went on to move through the divisions and win the FA Cup in a very famous win over Liverpool. Loris Sanchez. Through the 80s. Of course, this was when the conference came into place. He had to win promotion to the conference. Then in 80, in 1987, 88, when teams would, could get promotion from the AM um, Southern League straight into the Football League and the league, but that would have been a hard ask to move up two divisions. Actually, it was never done, though, from Southern League Conference to Football League. Never been done. Dark for their finishing runners-up. Murphy Tidfield, their winning promotion, of course. Famous for the Hoover Factory. Then it was Dover Athletic's turn. Chris Kinnear was the manager. Younger brother of Joe Kinnear. And we finish off as Dover Athletic win the Southern League and get promotion to the conference which they remained for a few seasons before being relegated now they're back in the conference and looking good for a place in the Football League via the playoffs then these are all the leading officials the leading managers plenty there We'll skip that and go to the players, all the players. Even parts all the players that actually join the Football League, like Stuart Pearce and Vinnie Jones. The reserves, all the reserve teams that played, the international players. Of course, in the non-league, they do have an amateur, sort of amateur semi-pro England team. And there was, back in the start, where a lot of players could have played non-league 
in the Southern League and played for their full England squad, but that's about over 100 years ago. Plenty of players there. Then a bit of information on all the teams that have played in the um, Southern League, every single team, from Chatham Town to Tottenham Hotspurs. <laughs> Loads of teams. Bit mentioned on the um, FA Cup results. And of course, the Southern League Cup, or f the Fudley Cup as it's called, the FA Vars, which is the FA Trophies for the big non-league sides and the FA Vars is for the smaller teams. All those you've got uh, the subscription list, got a free book, and that's it. Now, for me to review this whole book from start to finish it would be well over probably five hours, if not more. I've done my best there, so a bit of an insight into this fantastic book that I bought last year. And I'd like to say thank you very much for viewing this video. I'll say goodbye.